This is the grade four math practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, it's question number three. A rectangle has an area of 156 inches and a perimeter of 50 inches. What are the width and length of the rectangle? So let's talk a little vocabulary first, of course. We're going to talk about a rectangle. Well, I mean, last time I checked, it has four sides, right? And those sides are parallel. Now, remember, if you've seen any of these before, uh, you know this, but if you haven't, you don't. You're going to have to lie to yourself because I cannot draw straight lines with this thing, so just be prepared emotionally to deal with that. To do perimeter, we're talking about the distance all the way around, and for a rectangle, this is my length and this is my width. So if I'm going to do perimeter, there'll be another length here and a width here. If I'm going to go all the way around, I'm going to add up a length, another length, a width, another width, and that'll give me my perimeter, and we kind of shorten that out sometimes, and we'll say two lengths and two widths, but choose your own adventure. I don't have an opinion. As far as area goes, so say I have this sort of set up here. This is a three by two. So to area would be one by one squares inside of a figure. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, so my area here would be six. But you may notice, hopefully, that the length times the width is also six because three times two is six. So when I give area, I'm looking at length times width. Now, I need to start thinking about what combinations of these things I can do to get to 50 inches, for instance. And I'm just going to look at the answer choices. If they give me answer choices, I'm going to use them because I am lazy. I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, and get rid of this. 39, 4, 39, 4. I'm checking the width and length of A right now. That's not looking good, is it? I have 43 and I only have two sides. Let's add another 39. Uh-oh, that's not great. So 12 and 1. Eight. Ew. So that's out. Just for perimeter's sake, that one kind of fizzled out on us. So let's try that 5 and 10. That's looking somewhat better, right? So my width would be 5, and my length would be 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. I'm doing this, by the way, in case you need to see that. That's fine. 10, 20, 25, 30. No. That's out. So we may be able to figure this whole thing out without needing to do anything other than just add the sides. So for the next one, 10, 10, 15, and 15. So again, I'm doing this thing. You may recall that from earlier. 15 plus 15 is 30. So I might make a note to myself that that's 30. 40, 50, uh-oh, that's looking pretty good. So my perimeter value of this one for perimeter is 50. So good there. Now all I have to do is worry about area. And if you recall, we said that area is length times the width. So if I broke this into 15 spots and 10 this way, I could just count them, but I'm not going to do that because my handwriting is bad enough. Now remember, if you multiply anything by 10, you just put a zero after it, so 150. So the area is 150, and that is our... Oh, man, 156. Thanks for nothing. So C is out as well. So I have a sneaking suspicion that the answer is going to be D. But if I have time, I'm going to check. 12, 12, 13, 13. They're kind of mean here, aren't they, to make you do this kind of addition and multiplication together. So 12 and 12 is 24, plus 13 more. And if you need to do it over here, where you line things up, Go ahead and do it. Don't feel bad about it. If somebody looks at your paper, just kind of shush them and go back to your work. They're not making your grade. You are. So 24 and 13, 4 and 3 is 7, so it would be 37. And then I'm going to add 13 to that. So if I needed to go over here, I totally could. That's what the nice thing about scrap paper is. And I do get to 50. So my perimeter value of 50 is looking awesome. Only time for area left. Remember that whole length times width thing? Here we are again, staring it right in the face. 13 times 12. Now, there's no way that if it's me, I'm going to be able to do it without sort of bringing it on over here. 
3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2, last time I checked. This is a 10 and not a 1, so you have to put a 0 there, so you're multiplying by the correct amount. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1. 3 and 2 is 5, the last time I checked. And hey, hey, our area of 156, so checks all around. Our final answer is D. Generally speaking, since you found, I'd always start out with perimeter because it's much easier to add than it is to multiply. And uh, if you needed to go through and draw the boxes, draw the boxes. Nobody's going to judge you in any way. Nobody that matters is going to judge you that way. Do what you need to do to get the correct answer so you can do as well on your test as possible.